Hey, this is Pastor James coming to you with a message to encourage you and to uplift you wherever you're at. And then after this message, I want you to stick around for a few announcements of things that are happening here at Highlands and ways that you can respond to this message. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is something that everybody knows. It's simple. A lot of people's problems that we have come from us thinking that we are in charge. Have you ever thought that you're in charge and you're not in charge in work or at your home or in your neighborhood and then found out someone else was in charge and, and you stepped all over their toes? It can cause a lot of trouble, a lot of relationship trouble, and it can cause a lot of unneeded stress on your part. You just did all that work and you didn't even need to because it wasn't your job and you shouldn't have been doing it. Now, a question that I have for you today is a simple one. Do you know what you are in not in charge of? Uh, do you know what you are not in charge of? See, this is a good question because a lot of times, again, like I say, there's things that we think we're in charge of and we're not. And I'm specifically talking about spirituality. I'm talking about what is it that belongs to God and what belongs to us? Have you ever had, heard people say, hey, you know what? God shouldn't have done that. Why is God being so nice to that person? Or maybe God shouldn't do that. Here's a thing that was said from a pastor to a church in Rome. And it was said back in the day, it was by the, by the apostle Paul, Paul. And he's quoting right now at the beginning, uh, an Old Testament uh, direction from God. It says, Paul says, he says, God says to Moses, I'll have mercy on whomever I choose to have mercy. And I'll, have, I'll show compassion to whomever I choose to show compassion. So Moses is maybe arguing about or wondering, you know, should you really be showing mercy? Should you really be show compassion? And God's saying, hold on a second, buddy, stay out of this space. And then it finally goes on and the apostle Paul says, so then it doesn't depend on a person's desire or effort. It depends entirely on who? God who shows mercy. This is really important. This is what I think we can learn from this. God is completely in charge of God's response to human beings. A lot of times humans think that they're in charge of what God thinks about other people, but they're not. A lot of times human beings think that they can dispense God's mercy and that they can choose who receives God's mercy and who doesn't. But the Bible says, scripture says, God chooses who God will give mercy to. God chooses who God will give compassion to. And it doesn't depend on desire or effort. So a lot of times we like to try to make all these human laws about who this and who that. When in fact, we need to take a moment and recognize what is the most healthy thing we can do. That we are not in charge of those things. And we can live a lighter and freer life as a result. Okay, that's the message. Now, there's a couple of things that are happening that I really want you to now think about how you can apply your energies, what you are in charge of and what you can do because God does invite us to participate in what God is doing. The first thing is all of the stuff that we talk about, even this midweek message is on the app. So you can get that anytime, anytime. You just download the Highlands Church app through the Church Center app. Just look up Highlands Church and you'll get all of our prayer requests. You'll get all of the information weekly about what's going on at Highlands Church. And even monthly, you'll find out when our events are happening and on what days, three and four months from now at times. So check that out. It's a really good resource. But first, I want to talk about something that's happening this weekend, this Sunday, and it's called Winter Spectacular. This is amazing. It's free to anyone who comes. We're going to have taco trucks that people can buy dinners for their family at, so you don't have to plan dinner on Sunday. You just show up here, and, and for very little money, you could buy a great meal at the taco truck, and that's just a vendor that's coming to help us out. And then it's going to be from 5 to 8 p.m. We're going to have live music. So if you've been to any of these events before, uh, over the past summer, we've had lots of outdoor concerts and lots of people from the neighborhood coming. So you can bring your chairs. Adults are welcome at this. Families are welcome. Grandpas, grandmas, anybody is welcome to come. Set up chairs for the big concert around the lawn that PB&J is going to be playing at. There's going to be snow sledding. We have some generous donors who've helped participate in the paying for of a giant snow hill that is going to be delivered here at Highlands. Real snow. Kids will be seeing snow for the first time. We're going to have a Santa Claus that is going to be taking pictures with friends and their families. There's going to be bungee houses. I'm not sure what a bungee house is, but I bet it's going to be fun. And a bounce houses and s'mores. 
So imagine all the fun that we're going to be having, kicking off the season and lighting up this town with joy. We're so excited about this. This is this Sunday, December 5th from 5 to 8 p.m. Okay, so that's the first thing I want you to know about. The second thing is Christmas Eve. We have services here Christmas Eve, just like last year, but even better because we have a few surprises that you don't know about. And I'm not going to tell you about them. They're really, really fun. And those services are going to be from 2 o'clock, 1 at 2 o'clock, 1 at 4 o'clock, and 1 at 6 o'clock. This is the only thing that we ask. Would you please RSVP? Now, you don't need to RSVP. We're not worried like we were when we were inside about whether we'd have enough space for everybody to fit. But we do want to make sure that we have enough chairs. So there's no limit to how many people can come to each service. But we do like to pace it out so that we have enough chairs and enough parking. So let us know how many people are coming from your group or your family or your neighborhood. Maybe you'll bring them all. And it's going to be services at 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Candlelight services outside. It will be so, so beautiful. All right, so that's the Christmas. That's the Winter Spectacular. There's one more thing. How you can really help. How you can invest your energy. We need volunteers. We actually need volunteers right now for the Winter Spectacular. We need people who can set up for an hour and a half on the snow hill, get kids to the, to the top of the hill, and help catch them when they get down. We need volunteers that are going to help with the s'mores distribution. We need volunteers who can help with setup. We need so many volunteers. And then Christmas Eve, we are going to need so many people volunteering. And so we're actually asking you if you would serve at one service with your whole family on Christmas Eve and then attend another. And we would love, love, love to roll out the red carpet for our community because this is what we know. We know that this year we had over 350 people at our kids at our VBS, okay? So that's more than we've ever had at VBS before. I think that's the full number. We had 1,100 people come out for our Halloween experience here at the church. It has been an overflow time and time again. When we did baptisms at the beach, we had over 100 people and we had 30 baptisms. It's insane what God is doing. So we want to be ready. We want to be the church that says, okay, God, this is the time. We're ready. We're going to step up and we're going to serve. So I'm asking you, please sign up to serve. Email the front office. Reply to this email if you got it in an email and let us know which of these things or if both of these things you can help at. This is a time when people are more interested, your neighbors, your friends, your acquaintances, they are more interested than ever in faith because like all of us, they've had their back against the wall and it's been a hard year. But when you don't have faith, Hard years are impossible years because you have nowhere to turn. We want to give these people what we have, the joy, the hope of Jesus Christ, so that they, like we, can press through the hard times and be clear about what they're in control of and what they're not in control of. And thank God, Jesus is in control of all of it. God bless you. We're praying for you. And we pray that if there's any way we can help or support you, you would email us and let us know because we'll do whatever we can. All right? God bless and have a great week.